just wanted to be like really real with you guys for a minute happy monday vlog day everyone today we are in the studio we're going to be doing a bunch of orders today i also bought some brand new curtains because i have these like gray curtains in my studio right now but they kind of give me like an office vibe so i'm a little bit like i really want to change it up and i've got these curtains that have like little star cutouts anyway so i'm going to be changing those today and then we're going to get into the orders i also have a couple of packages to open so these are going to be for the february happy mails i'm really excited this is going to be the sticker sheets and this is going to be the two mirror stickers so one of them is a dragon and one of them is like the peridot dragon with the um the Peridot Fairy with the dragon. So recently the artwork and stuff that I've been working on, I really want to show you. I've been really wanting to do like Valentine's Day stuff. Like obviously we're coming up to Valentine's Day very soon. And I realized like I originally wanted to do like a Valentine's Day shop update, but I didn't really have enough time. I didn't plan it early enough. So it's not really going to be in time for Valentine's Day. The nice thing about the stuff that I'm making is that it's not just Valentine's say it can be used for like a range of different things so the first thing i worked on was this bookish witch i wanted her to be like a sort of romantic bookish witch i cannot say that properly and also with this whole like little mini series that i'm doing i'm giving them all like these really like soft puffy sleeves kind of tops and clothing and it's really pretty so i really wanted to lean heavily into like a romantic feel for the artwork and I definitely get that vibe from that kind of clothing. So I already chose her name and her name is going to be Mishka and it means gift of love and I kind of feel like it fits her vibe a little bit. And then I did this sticker sheet as well to go alongside that to kind of like match with it. So it's kind of like its own mini collection if that makes sense. Then I worked on the second design and this is a love letter girl and I love her design so so much. Basically she has written out loads of different letters for all those people closest to her, all her closest friends and family. And then she is going off to deliver them from her little cute heart backpack. And for this one, I actually had a patron suggest her name and the name is Amare, which is Latin for love. And then I also have done this sticker sheet to go alongside her. And then the last one that I'm working on, and it's probably the one that's taking me the longest time because I'm just really like letting myself be as creative as possible with it. I've given her these little confetti freckles. At the time of this video, like when I'm recording today, I haven't finished her like completely she's almost done but not completely and then once she's complete i'm then going to start designing her sticker sheet so if i've like got to that point by the time that this is live then obviously i'm going to put the pictures up here for you to see and this as soon as it's complete i will release it into my shops so onto my etsy and onto my shop website and don't forget that on my shop website you can actually get an entire five pound off your order if you sign up to the mailing list which isn't like spammy or anything it's just going to be uh whenever there's a special offer or when there's like a new product so kind of like things that you might like and then for the rest of this week i need to finish up the commission that i'm working on and i also have a couple of collaborations that i'm doing with some other companies that i need to work on so i also made this little list on patreon to kind of remind myself and to let everyone know like what kind of stuff i was planning on working on and it's been a bit of a challenge to get all of these drawings done it's been really fun to be drawing more lately but it has been challenging because I am obviously worried about certain deadlines. Like I wanted to finish the Aquamarine Fairy for February Fairy and I wanted to do that soon because I wanted to start working on Fungi, Fungi Fairy, Fungi Fairy. Yeah, I was trying to say Fungi Fairy. Maybe that's something for next year. I wanted to try and work on something for that as well because I miss it every year and I really want to I really want to take part in it. Same with like Huvember. I always want to do Huvember and I never end up doing it. And then I need to start working on my Patreon theme for March. For this, I really need to make a poll on my Patreon so that everyone can decide what kind of theme they want me to do. Also, as a little side note, in my whole like trying to have a bit more of a like work-life balance, like trying to make sure I'm looking after myself while I'm like working so much, I spent my entire Sunday playing Until Dawn and I absolutely loved it. When it first came out, I was obsessed. Like I loved the fact that you could make 
choices and things like that like that was so fun to me and then i heard that they're gonna remake it like remaster it so i'm really excited for that as well i don't know when that's gonna be released but i'm hoping they're gonna add some stuff to it i don't know if you guys are into like horror games and stuff like that but i absolutely love it and also if you need a recommendation for a horror game then i 100 percent recommend layers of fear like i will say this to anybody who i know just has like even a tiny bit of like interest in horror games that i will always re recommend that because that scared me so much <laughs> there's something about just like playing a game that is scarier than just like watching a horror i don't know to me it's like scary to actually play it and i would love to draw the characters but right now i think by the time that i actually have time to draw the characters i'm probably gonna have moved away from like my obsession with it a little bit i don't know maybe maybe when the remastering version is released maybe then i can draw some of the characters and i should probably draw some of the men too i just well Okay, let's unwrap these. So I think they changed the vibe of the room a little bit, like, it looks so pretty! Look at the stars! And now we can get on to packing orders. <laughs>
So I can't remember where we left the last vlog. I think I did like my orders or something and I think that was it. But then that was from last week now and I ended up getting pretty sick. I don't know if you can still kind of like hear it. I'm still kind of getting over it all. But I was so like weak and headachey and not sleeping well. But today I am back in the studio because it has been too long and I had orders that I needed to get on top of so today that's what I've been doing so far. It's only 20 to 4 now and it's just so so great. Anyway this morning I decided to I decided to go for a walk to like get out of the house and to just kind of feel better because I'd been like cooped up for so long. Like usually I really love to stay indoors because I'm just like such a like homebody introvert I just really like being at home but like being ill and stuff I just wasn't leaving the house at all so and where I was getting so like tired and not feeling great then I was starting to also like have a lot of like negative thoughts about um like my my worth and my work and all that kind of stuff that happens when you're in a bit more of a low mood and so today I've just really tried to be gentle with myself. Anyway I'm so excited so before I package up all the others I wanted to show you something that I recently bought and I've been putting it off for a while now. I've been using this like dining table chair for a while now in my studio and it is not the best like literally my back hurts so much after I sit on it like editing vlogs all day and things like that it just really kills my back so I bought a new chair which isn't like a super like ergonomic one or anything like that it's not specially designed for like back posture or anything but it is more of an office chair it's more of a comfortable chair and there is like a return period so if I feel like it's not much different then I'm probably going to return it and get something else but it's so cute and I cannot wait to show you the box is huge, I'm looking at it like right now, a huge box. I'm going to try and like put it together with you. So this is what the actual chair part looks like. And it's so pretty, it's so fluffy, and this part is like super solid and cushy. <laughs> I 
just wanted to be like really real with you guys for a minute this kind of like feels hard to do as well because I'm just I know that like these vlogs are just about like the orders about the work and everything and I want to show you like how fun that is and stuff but at the same time I kind of thought that maybe this would help people to um kind of feel less alone I just feel like everything is so crappy lately like I feel like I have to just keep pulling myself back up and like it feels like the world right now is just kind of in a bit of turmoil and I I look at stuff to do with my shop and things and I am struggling like there are definitely periods of times where I feel like I'm doing really really well and you know I'm getting the sales and everything like that and then there are other times that I feel really low and like the orders aren't coming in like they used to. It kind of makes me feel like a bit of a failure because I feel like I keep trying, I feel like I keep trying to um, like put an effort and like really work hard and make those orders come in you know and like make new products and advertise my stuff and get all my like keywords and stuff right on Etsy and on my website and sometimes it's really hard because like I I feel like I put in so much effort and then like there's not there's not any like fruits of that labor yet and I feel silly getting sad about it as well because I will sit there and think like how good I've got it as well and I know I do and you know I have orders all week every week I will have like reels and posts that will go viral viral ish on my um Instagram and my like Instagram's growing in like terms of follow account and stuff like that and I get really nice reviews and like feedback from people and my patron was growing as well and I feel so stupid sometimes getting so sad but then at the same time like I'll compare like my stats and stuff to like a couple of years ago and I'll see like it's dropping and stuff and I'll feel like like a failure and I just feel like everything is so hard lately I don't know what it is I was really hoping that 2024 was going to feel like lighter because I don't know why but 2023 felt really heavy to me and it felt like a lot and <sighs> I didn't want to do this as well because I was worried like it would seem performative and I'm really not trying to be I just really want people to, like if other people are feeling this as well, like we don't have to fake it, we don't have to like um, pretend it's not happening, like because I feel like we feel more alone that way as well, like if we're kind of keeping it to ourselves, like we're all just feeling alone in that feeling. So, <sighs> I'm sorry. If you have been feeling like me, then I am really sorry that you are also feeling that way. I think it's so hard because I try and like, I say this stuff to, you know, help other people and it's what I feel and stuff, but I find it really hard sometimes to like put it, like apply it to myself. But I feel like we've got to stop being so hard on ourselves. I honestly, we're, we're trying so much and we got to be kind to ourselves because it's not an easy situation that some of us might be in. I guess I'm just trying to say like, be gentle with yourself and know that it's not just you and you're not alone in this. Like, a lot of us are feeling like this. I, I want to um, <laughs> actually move on and I wanted to show you everything that I wanted to show you and talk to you about today so I think I'm gonna try and move past like these sad feelings I've got um some orders to do today and I want to say thank you by the way for the orders because I'm really really not trying to 
come across as ungrateful or anything like that because I am I am so so grateful every time for every order like and your order notes and your reviews and stuff like you don't understand how happy it makes me and I'm so grateful I just sometimes when I look at like the numbers and stuff and I know we're all struggling then I feel um like a bit of a failure you know so it's not a reflection of all the support I'm receiving because I do really appreciate that I just wanted to be really real about how I was feeling like inside personally anyway so I've got those orders to do today and a couple of them I'm also gonna do like separately I'm gonna film as as its own like dedicated um, reel slash TikTok because one of my lovely customers has requested that I do that for them. So, and I really love doing this. I love showing the whole like packaging video um, like in a little reel and stuff. I think it's really cute. So today is actually Sunday. <laughs> so my week has been a little bit all over the place and um, I think it was yesterday. I said to myself like, you need a break <laughs> because on the, Friday I had spent my whole house my whole house I spent my whole day just cleaning the entire house because where I was ill I just felt like it needed a good clean but like it takes me all day to do sometimes so then I felt really exhausted and I just thought you know I need to have like a little bit of a break I still was working on some artwork but to be honest like working on art doesn't stress me out I mean it can stress me out but it doesn't stress me out or it's not as like physical labor do you know what I mean so it's I still feel pretty relaxed doing it so and I have been working on the next theme for my happy mail so this is gonna be Care Bears as voted by my patrons it was actually like quite outvoted as well so I was really surprised usually it's like a little bit of a mix like one does win but there's another one that's kind of like close so I've been working on the art piece and I really want to show you so I'm going to put it up on the screen here what I have done so far I'm hoping it's finished at the time that I'm editing this but it might not actually be I saw an image that was kind of like similar to this and it really inspired me to do an artwork that that look like this like have the care bears as being like little besties and i feel like it fits in with like the care bear theme like they're holding hands and stuff and it just felt super super cute like making these girls into the care bears so the first ones that i have made are wish bear and i'm gonna say daydream bear i think it's daydream bear and then the next ones that i'm gonna work on so i gave my patrons the option of like choosing their favorite um care bears from this massive list and the top voted ones were wish bear and daydream bear and then there were like kind of some others that were like tying together after that and i thought what i could possibly do is pick two of the absolute favorites that my patrons picked and then two that i think will go really well with the theme and i really really want to draw grumpy bear and i thought it would be really cute to kind of like contrast grumpy bear with another bear that is sort of opposite I guess in a way to Grumpy Bear's personality or whatever so I thought that Love A Lot Bear would be really cute to go with Grumpy Bear and they can be like besties. Honestly the idea kind of gives me like Wednesday Enid vibes. I don't know if I'm gonna change my mind but that's what I have in my mind at the moment. I'm also struggling to think about what kind of product I want for the Dream Dust box because this month is going to be a tote bag, last month was a notebook and a sticky pad and I really just don't know what this month should be. I'm kind of feeling keychains, I don't know why though, but there's so many different things that I could make and that I'd love to get made up. So. If you have any ideas for the Dream Dust Box, please let me know. I'm going to be ordering them next week, which is pretty late to order them, to be honest. But I have obviously been sick recently and getting back into everything has been pretty slow. I also did this silly thing where I started drawing some Mean Girls art and it took me a little while and I didn't actually end up finishing it. And 
it put me further behind on making the Care Bears art. So for now, it's like on the back burner and I am gonna be getting back to it because I recently watched Mean Girls again. I was just as obsessed as I was the first time that I watched it. And I have been wanting to create a piece of fan art. I don't wanna like spoil it and tell you exactly what it is, but I wanted to create a certain scene which I always really love. I also, I'm in my chair and it is honestly so comfy but having this has like changed my life and I could probably sit in this for ages. Also have a look at these really cute roses my husband bought me. I feel like they go really nicely in the room and then I wanted to show you one last thing. I got this I ordered something recently from Hayley Maurice. I really hope I'm saying their name right um, but I wanted this art book this scene for so long and I was just scrolling onto like my favorites on Etsy and then I saw like this was the last one in stock like I don't know if it was actually the last one but I was like that is a sign I have to get it so I got it and I haven't unboxed it or opened it obviously as you can see um but I got these little cute things and I really just wanted to open it with you so that you can share the joy of this scene with me. <laughs> they included this adorable sticker and I love how shiny it is. Like you guys know that all my stickers are matte and I just love the glossy. I don't know, do you guys prefer matte or do you prefer glossy stickers? I feel like I usually prefer matte, but I love that glossy sticker, that's so pretty. And then look, then we got their business card with the cutest piece of art on the back, which is actually like, I'm struggling which side to show on my wall because I like to stick up the thank you cards and things on my wall from other artists. Um, but I love both sides. Like that is a strawberry heart, like that's amazing. I just, I don't know what one I'm gonna pick to be quite honest with you. And then obviously with this one, they wrote my name there and but the artwork is so pretty. So I just really don't know what to do. I just don't know. Look at this tissue paper. I really wanna get custom tissue paper one day. I don't wanna rip this. Oh, oh no. Don't rip, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip. This is such a good idea though, like from a business perspective, like having a little sticker to secure it together that's of your artwork. I love that. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow. Wait, let me just lift this a little bit so I can show you a bit more. It's like got this really soft, like, not like soft touch, but like this matte papery feel. I really love it. It's so nice. Um, so there's another one out. I can't remember what colors are in that art scene right now, but I really wanted this one because I just loved the pinks and the purples. Oh, stop it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna, oh, look, like, they're just so creative. That's so beautiful. If you guys like that as much as me, I'm gonna treasure this. Look at this, you guys. The universe is crying with me. <laughs> it's so pretty. The rain smells so nice as well. It smells so fresh.
thank you so so much for watching my loves i hope you enjoyed it and i just want to like apologize we had a little bit sad i know these vlogs are supposed to be like really happy and uplifting and generally that's what i feel like most of the time it's just i have been up and down with this kind of thing lately and i really just wanted to be raw with you and kind of show you exactly how i've been feeling but thank you so much for watching and if you reach the end please leave me a cloud emoji i it's it excites me so much like i literally don't understand why i feel so much happiness to see the little clouds in the comments but please leave me a cloud emoji if you got to the end and if you got to the end thank you so so much i am gonna try my hardest to be more consistent i'm also gonna be gentle with myself though because i feel like I am going through a lot and sometimes I'm really good sometimes I'm not like a little bit less good a little bit more negative and I also feel like I need to cater to that within reason if that makes sense so I'm going to try my hardest to keep to schedule though so the schedule at the moment is Mondays at 4 p.m GMT BST whatever time zone we're in and so I hope to see you guys next Monday have a wonderful week and I love you all so so much bye